And in the first chapter here, there are three underlying principles that I want us to especially notice. And they are the premise for the whole book of Ezra. And the first premise that we see is that God is a God of judgment. He is a God of judgment. The reason the children of Israel, God's children, were, were exiled to Babylonian ca captivity is because of their open rebellion against God. They had rebelled, and, and even Isaiah tells us of how God had warned them. If you look on your listening sheet, you see these verses from Isaiah chapter 3. Observe this. The Lord God of hosts is about to remove from Jerusalem and from Judah every kind of security, the entire supply of bread and water. For Jerusalem has stumbled and Judah has fallen because they have spoken and acted against the Lord, defying his glorious presence. The look on their faces testifies against them. And like Sodom, God compares his people to the people of Sodom. They flaunt their sin. They do not conceal it. Woe to them, for they have brought evil on themselves. The children of Israel were defiant against God's perfect and holy will. They brought this judgment upon themselves. They knew that God is holy. They knew that God is perfect. And they knew that God must punish sin. God, according to the Bible, is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Therefore, God is still holy. He's still perfect, and he still judges sin. And so his judgment for Israel was to send them into a foreign land and leaving their nation behind, destroyed, including the temple. So, how can this be? How can a loving God punish people that he has chosen, his own chosen people like this? Well, he is holy, and God does not allow sin. What does Romans 3.23 tell us? For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. So we know that all people fall into the same category. Romans also tells us that the wages of sin is what? Death. The gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So, wages of sin equals death. Why were they not killed? Think about wages. When you work for someone for wages, you don't necessarily receive your rate wages daily. Your wages may not come to you until a later time. In fact, most, in most cases, your wages don't come to you until a later time. But if you work for an honest and ethical company or person, your wages will come to you eventually. And if God tells us the wages of sin is death, then we know that there's going to be a payday. And that's what the late Dr. R.G. Lee used to preach. That there will be a payday someday. That it is surely coming. 